All right, guys, check it out, man. Coda Boy 32 here, and what we're looking at is the Safari Land 6004. This is their small tactical drop leg holster, uh, also with the ALS holster for the SIG P226. Now, what we're going to do is take it on over here to the table and uh, take a closer look at it. I'm going to tell you the reasons why I went ahead and spent the money on this versus something else. Stand by. All right, guys, just real quickly, we're out here at the range today, and I, uh, I, you know, don't want to let a bad opportunity. It's a beautiful day at the range, and of course, got a couple of people over here. But let's do this real quickly. Uh, the, guys, this is the 6 Hour PT26 TAC Ops. This is the gun that I do a lot of practicing with just because it's one of my favorites. And what I love most about it is the Safari Land ALS holster. Now, I'll put the go ahead and put the exact nomenclature for this thing down below. But what the, we're talking about today is this. This is the drop leg holster. And I'm going to tell you the reasons why I went ahead and spent the $51 that it's on Amazon right now. Look down below for this holster. One is I like the small compact version of this thing. You see a lot of these guys like the UTG or the Condor versions, which there's nothing wrong with those. But if you want something that's going to be stable, it's going to stick to your leg. It's going to house this thing. One of the other reasons why I got this thing was simply because we're going to be doing a lot of shooting. I want to be able to be comfortable while we're shooting. And if I want a drop leg holster, which is nice and it's perfect. Now, in the fitting of this thing, it is set as high as I can possibly get it on my torso or on my body, on my leg, that I can comfortably do it. I don't like the holster sling down low because it's not tight. It's not compact. If I have to do any kind of maneuvering, and my big old fat ass ain't going to do a whole lot of quick maneuvering but in the event that I do, I want this thing to be tight to my side. I'm going to show you guys just in a second here. We'll go ahead and take your camera back over there. I'm going to show you how I mount it and how it goes. Now, just real quickly, this thing has three height adjustments right there that you can adjust it up and down. This belt features right here. This is a two inch condor belt. And this thing looks like it can accommodate at least a two and a half, two and a quarter inch. So I'm over there going to town. All right, well anyway, uh, it's got a couple other things. I do like this neoprene style belt and it's got the sticky material on the other side. Guys, this thing is nothing but quality and it's absolutely phenomenal. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on and walk around on it so you can see. The benefits of this thing are absolutely tremendous and the ease in operation and how to mount the Safari Land holster is incredibly easy. Um, and once you get it in there, your firearms, you're in a level two retention, it's not gonna come out. It looks, it looks good. At least you got that going for you. But we have a lot of fun. So before it gets too crowded out here, let's go ahead and get this done. Uh, but this is the way it rolls, man. This is a good deal. I'll go ahead and do some uh, uh, reviews on the Condor and the UTG drop leg holster, and we will compare it to this as a standard, okay? But for right now, let's go ahead and bring it back over here. I'm gonna move around a little bit, show you how well, how comfortable this thing is. And guys, if you're going to uh, a class where you're gonna be using a pistol and they, you know, a drop leg is great. I like a nice uh, snag paddle holster, or not paddle holster, but a uh, pancake holster also. And one of the things that we're gonna do down at Farm Again is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna incorporate both of these. I'm gonna do this one, and I'm gonna go with this uh, new pancake holster that uh, the guys from Carolina Concealment Solutions are building for me to uh, house that uh, P09 with a uh, surefire light on it. it's going to be pretty cool but anyway let's go over here check this thing out real quick and we'll have fun all right guys so first of all what we got this is again the safari lance this is their als holster i'll put the nomenclature down below this is the one that fits my particular firearm now there are abundant of level two retention holsters out there they've got the ones with the gate on top of it there's a bunch of different ones and they will all fit on this with this three bolt system that they have it's adjustable three times a high and low or however you want to say it but anyway I'm using it with this Condor two inch belt. And this seems to be just adequate enough for what I'm doing. I'm not out here running special operations missions or anything, but you go ahead and just put it on here like this. Now what you wanna do while you're on camera is try to suck your gut in as much as you can as opposed to how you did it while we were over here the other day. I noticed, man, I put some weight on. <laughs> but anyway, you got it here like this. Now one of the things that I like to do is I like to mount it up as high as I can um, with a pancake holster it's going to be up here this is meant to be down here to give you a more comfortable draw from it now one of the things that you'll find that when you do have it on here the 511 pants have a little knife pocket get rid of the knife it's uncomfortable get rid of almost anything that's in this pocket unfortunately that's just the way it is for me 
somebody else may have a different story but that's the way it is all right so what you do i like the single leg band because i just like to keep compact and you reach down there roll it around it is adjustable and put it in there now you can adjust that however tightness you want or whatever retention level you want but i like it so i'm my femoral artery will breathe so, but you can see just like that man what a great little package and it's on there it's fine you're not going to run into any issues with it running around now let's go ahead and put a firearm in it and i'm going to show you how that level two retention works here we go all right so what we're going to do guys real quickly you can see how easy that level two retention i'm taking my thumb right here now the other ones they have a little thing down here by the trigger which is a, a great option as well um is your six covered rick i believe you've got one of those well anyway I'm going to bring the camera in close so you can see exactly what the steps are when I come in. But guys, look at this thing. I can jump up, I can do calisthenics, I can do jump jacks, a side saddle hop, whatever. Let's go ahead and put this thing down here. So you can see right here. Check it out, man. This thing, one, that thing is not going anywhere. All right? And that's one of the differences between something like this, the UTG or the Condor version, where it is a soft fabric. They're adequate. But if you really want to get into some good training, some good tactical pistol training, and you want to drop leg holster, this is a minimum. All right, so we're positioned from the front. You can see how this thing looks. What we're doing is we're just reaching down there, grabbing a hold of the thumb. If you've got the, hand, the, the trigger guard one here, pop it in there like that. All right, so guys, my general assessment of this thing is it's a fabulous holster. I've used it now for a little bit. If you guys have noticed, you've seen me do my little beep, you know, holstering and shooting. I love this thing. It is awesome, and it's the reason I picked it. Now, I'll be demonstrating this one and the pancake holster from Carolina Concealment Solution down at Farmageddon. It's going to be interesting to see how comfortable it is. I'm going to use the same belt, right, so the same setup, but the, that particular thing is going to have the full combat belt with all my stuff. Now, I might interchange it as we go through the days or the weeks, but we'll see how it works. Guys, if you liked the video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Support the red, white, and blue. Go to Boy 32. Out.